Hello YouTube, and I'm pleased to welcome you to the studio today where this is the premiere installment of a project I'm working on that I would like to call Apartment Pump, where it's all about keeping fit and having fun and just being your, a better self all in the confines of your apartment. Uh, the first exercise here are some dumbbell lunges. I'm doing a set, uh, one set of 15 per side. You know, this is just a quick little warm up to limber up the quad muscles uh, for some more strenuous exercises coming up. As you can see here, I'm turning over to the side to, uh, to give you, the viewer, a second perspective on the form that I'm using to step into each lunge. I'm going nice and deep, uh, controlled motions. You don't want to go too fast, but um, you don't want to risk going too slow because you might just topple over and uh, that's never fun, especially if you're carrying some heavy weights like I am in this uh, position. You don't want to drop them all over yourself. See, I'm just get, I'm already getting excited. I'm on to the second exercise now, which I like to call chubby kitty squats, and I'm gonna do 10 of those. So here again, I'm doing uh, just a little twist under the perspective for you to get a better view. See, I'm going nice, down, deep, bending the knees, trying to keep the back straight, trying to keep a nice level, even uh, bend at the knees. Uh, really, really feeling it. And the reason I call them chubby kitty squats is because Penny Lane, this kit, this cat, weighs about 16 pounds. That's a, uh, that's fairly chubby for a cat. So, you know, I like to move up to that weight uh, fairly soon. Now, I'm stepping off to the side here because this is one thing that's really important that I almost over, over. Uh, overlooked and it's to stay hydrated so I had to run over uh, fill up a glass of water because you don't want to you don't want to dehydrate you want to keep your muscles nice and lubricated while you're working out uh, you don't want to rust up so now I'm going into Bulgarian uh, split squats again uh, I'm doing 10 of these uh, 10 on the left, 10 on the right. Right now I'm working on the right side, going down. Uh, they really work a lot of muscle groups. They keep, they work your balance muscles, they work your leg muscles, and your focus. Because you gotta make sure you're, you're keeping all these muscles in check. So again, over to the right leg now. Really feeling the burn, because I'm going deep, just deep. Uh, these ones, these, these are a little uh, intermediate, I'd say. You don't want to overstress yourself if you're a beginner. Uh, you might want to repeat uh, the dumbbell lunges from earlier on. And here I am just sort of checking in on Penny, seeing how she's doing. Uh, you know, it's, it's important to bond with your kitties that you're using as weight because you don't want your weights turning on you. What be they uh, flesh and blood cats or steel? Um, it's a very spiritual thing. You got to treat them with respect. You don't drop the weights, uh, much like you wouldn't just drop a cat. Sure, cats will land on their feet and barbells will bounce, but uh, it's it's a respect thing. So. Here, you know, I, I have got uh, little spin-on handles uh, to keep the weights onto the bar. So this takes a little bit of time, but it's time that is important because you don't want to rush things. You want to catch your breath. You want to keep breathing. You, wanna, you don't want to overexert yourself is what I'm saying. You want to give your muscles some time to rebound excuse me I just ate some peanuts uh, 
uh, while, I'm, while I'm recording this. Um, they are sitting in the cap in the cupboard for probably since October. It is now April, so they've been there a while. I don't know what the shelf life is on peanuts that are in the shell, but they're in a bag, so I'm pretty sure they're all right. And enough of that. Moving on. Um, here, since I don't have a proper squat rack, uh, I am just using my easy curl bar to uh, throw over my shoulders and do some squats. Here I'm doing one set of 15 reps. Again, you see I am giving you a little side perspective to show you that I'm keeping my back nice and flat, knees bent, uh, really stressing the quads, making them grow, filling them with blood, getting that pump. Uh, keeping my upper body nice and stiff and rigid uh, just really nice and clean squats you, you, these these ones are really good um, just it's really important you don't want to have a poor form with squats they can really uh, so I just hear some noise out in the hallway one of the neighbors just opening the door. Anyways, you don't want to hurt yourself doing squats because that's easy. That's easy, even with even with these uh, these weights. They're not they're not heavy. I think I only have about twenty pounds on there. But you know you can hurt yourself. Now here I'm doing some good mornings, ten of them, ten reps for one set, just to stretch the back muscles, especially because I was keeping them nice and tight while I was doing my squats. So I'm doing ten of these. And we're done. You gotta be careful when you put them down. Like I said, be easy on the weights. And now here, it's important to clear your work surface because you don't wanna be tripping over weights before, before, uh, while you're going into the next exercise. So it's important to keep a nice clean work surface. And now I'm going back, back into some chubby kitty squats, 10 sets. Uh, just like before, knees bent, nice and tight thighs, uh, nice, clean, straight upper body. Got, well, just want to go like a straight line like you're going to sit in an invisible chair is uh, what they say. So here I'm cradling Penny Lane. Uh, may, just giving her a little belly rubs there just to let her know she's appreciated. And a little peck on the head. You know, she likes that. Maybe you don't know. I'm just saying you know. It's a little thing I've picked up. Picked up uh, a lot of people say it. So, you know, I say it too. So now we're doing bicep curls with the easy curl bar. Ten of these. Really getting nice flex, full range of motion. And you'll see here when I bring it up, you gotta squeeze at the top. You gotta squeeze that bicep, make it filled with blood. Um, doing ten of these, um, you want to, you want to keep. I'm, little, I'm swaying a little bit, which isn't optimal. Uh, you, you want to try and keep as straight and upright as you can. As you, can, uh, you'll see, I have my feet shoulder width apart. I'm trying to keep my back nice and straight. Good posture, chin up, uh, but I was getting a little bit of swaying. Uh, not a problem, but don't make a habit of it is what I'm trying to say. Here I am just sort of talking to B, seeing how she's doing. She, she was hiding a bit. Um, it's kind of her thing when the, when the drapes come down. Um, she kind of plays in there. It's a, uh, it's, it's good, it's good. Now you see, you, you might literally be able to see her head just sort of poking out, looking at me. I think I stepped on what might have been a bobby pin or possibly a torn out cat claw. It's very possible. She likes to leave her claws laying around when she sort of pulls them out and they, as they grow. Sounds gross, but you know, that, that's, that's nature for you. That's the circle of life. Okay, so here, since I'm on the uh, 
cool down period, I'm going for some skinny kitty squats. The reason I'm calling these ones skinny kitty squats is because Beatrice, this cat, is probably about eight pounds. That's all. That's around half the weight of Penny Lane, which are my weights for the chubby kitty squats. So, uh, hence the name skinny kitty squats. So as you can see, even though it is uh, a lighter weight, you want to go just as deep, if not deeper with those squats. Uh, make sure you get a good tension and flexion in your quadriceps. Uh, and like I said earlier, it's good to respect your weights and especially if they're cats. So here I am just ha sharing a moment. We're sitting on the couch. I'm giving her nice little pets, pats on the back and full body length strokes. And you can see she appreciates it. She came over. Now she went over to my other side and she's resting on my on my my quads because she's like, hey, we just worked these out. Um, how about I show, sort of show some pride in my work and how I helped you out in growing these muscles. Uh, so I'm going to rest here and maybe just give them a little, little kitty massage like they do with their paws when they're uh, sort of kneading the, the, the muscles. So as you can see here, we're sitting there uh, petting her head to tail. She is feeling nice and relaxed. I'm feeling nice and wiped from that workout. And I am glad that you joined me on this installment of Apartment Pump. And I hope to see you soon again from the studio.